Hi, I'm Chris Coombs, and this is the Truth and Diabetes Project. So, a few months back, I don't know how long it's been, I ran into this guy on Facebook. Saw this name as a Jim Coombs. Well, turns out, he's my long-lost Uncle Jimmy. And this summer's been really fun because he took a trip all the way out from Louisville, Kentucky to spend a little bit of time, see some people, make some friends, make some new connections, and go to a family reunion that we have later this month. What I want to talk about is just how unique diabetes is. You will be very hard pressed to find anyone, anyone that doesn't know someone who is impacted by diabetes in some way. And I'm sorry, we got flies, we got mosquitoes going crazy out here. <laughs> but one neat thing about Uncle Jimmy is his mother was diabetic. His mother was diabetic and she used to come and stay with us when I was a little boy. I remember she'd be getting her insulin shot in the arm, which my mom practiced for months and months, poking at a grapefruit to get good with the needle. And she would, ooh, and she would ham it up for us. And we'd hold her hand when she got her shot of insulin. Well, something really cool that Uncle Jimmy did, not only does he cut his hair into a mohawk and dye it pink for the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk in Louisville, Kentucky, but he also collected a bunch of money and he went and he walked for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, JDRF. And if I, I probably messed up what that acronym is. But the JDRF funds a lot of programs that impact people like me who are dealing with type 1 diabetes. I wanted to ask you, Uncle Jimmy, what motivated you to get out there and do that? Because a lot of people say, oh, I wish I could help. I wish there were something I could do. Okay? Uncle Jimmy is nearly 85 years old, and well, he went out there and he did it. Well, don't steal my thunder. He went and Just he did it. Just a minute. So why now, did you hold do on. it? Hold on. Let me tell you why. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell him how young I am. Oh. I'm 84 and a half years old, and I realize I've got prostate cancer and several other what you might think is debilitating diseases, but I refuse to let him get me down and for whatever time I have left, I've decided to devote it to the JDRF and the American Cancer Society. And I walk every chance I get to help out, to raise money. And anybody that's watching this video can do the same thing. You might not be able to walk, but you can find some loose change because every penny counts. Now, I made a video with his daughter Katie, and we got a hug and a kiss. I am not going to kiss my nephew. <laughs> there, I kissed my uncle. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> this man, I am so proud of him for the work he's doing. He's just a blessing, and it was such a pleasure to finally hook up with him on Facebook and now to be out here in person. The last time I saw him, he was probably three or four years old at the time. And that's all I got to say. And hey, this, <laughs> this dog finally got up on my lap. Sammy said, hey, hey I Sammy. want in on this. <laughs> okay, so this guy right here, my Uncle Jimmy, almost 85 years old, willing to get out there and do something to help someone. Do something. Doesn't matter how big or how small, it makes a difference. This guy right here, living his destiny, not living a disease. Remember, Chris Coombs with the Truth and Diabetes. This guy right here, Jim Coombs, J-I-M-C-O-O-M-B-S. Look him up on Facebook. Get behind him in his effort to do his cancer walk and to do the JDRF walk. Give a few pennies, make a difference. Love you guys. Disease or destiny, it's your choice. Go for it.